Hi, uh, we are drawing today exercise 3.10M, shaft support. Uh, we're going to start with the circle in the center there. So we're going to make sure we're on a correct layer, visible. Uh, we are also going to make sure our units are correct, because this is a 3.10M. Obviously, you can see we're on millimeters, so we are correct. So we're going to go to circle. I'm going to make mine 0, 0. That's up to you where you guys start yours. So the center circle, the diameter is 50. So 0, 0. Oh, diameter is 50. Uh, my snaps are on, so I turned them off. Uh, the outside circle has a diameter of 80. So we're going to go to the center of that. Okay. So I have two circles there. And then I'm going to draw the key out here. So what I'm going to do is draw a line uh, 10 millimeters long. Five. Come down here. Grab this line. Come down another five. I use the grip. So then I'm going to move this. Fifty five millimeters. Just come here. I'll just go straight across. You can find the intersection and all, but sometimes it's just easier just to go across and trim. Sometimes it's just quicker that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw the come out to the two outside circles. So now we're going the whole ways out here to 135. 40. And come up here, 40. So I'm going to draw two lines. We're going to go off the quadrant. Again, off the quadrant to the end point. I don't know what happened to my line here. Then we're going to go to fill it. Let's fill it radius is 20. One, two, there you go. I'm going to erase this line. So the circles, I'm going to two smaller circles. We have one at 20 and one at 30. Those are both diameters they've given us. So I'm going to go to the center of this arc and have 20. Center this arc, have 30. Obviously, I can get 30 radius because I went to the default. So we're going to go 30. There you go. Um, you can either draw those circles again here or else you can mirror. I'm going to use the quadrant of that circle. So there you go. So you have those circles now. Everything is drawn. So now we got to do the annotation of it. I know the instructions on this tell you not to annotate it, but I want you guys to annotate it. So we're going to change our layer. First, we're going to do the center lines. So I change the center line. Go to annotate, center marks. Okay. I'm going to hit this larger circle. I'm going to hit this circle and this circle. Okay. Now over here, see over here in your properties palette. And if you want to turn on your properties palette, you go to view the palettes and then click on property. Okay. Okay. Annotate. Back to center line. Click on my center line. Over here it gives me the extensions that I want to go. Um, so actually I can click all these center lines at one time. And type in the extensions. Go five, 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 five. See how they all extended out? It's a thing of beauty. Okay, I'm going to go back to my uh, layer and then I'm going to change it to dim because now I want to dimension it. So we go back to the annotate tab. 
we're going to click on linear. We're going to do the dimensioning the way it asks us the dimension. So 55. Uh, 135. We got 80. We got 10. Okay. And now we have to label our diameters. So we got our 50, our 80. And we're going to go with our 20 and our 30. I noticed the exercise on dimension is a little more simpler. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is good enough dimensioning. Oh, and also we need uh, this one. That's asking for the radius. Radius. There you go. I'm going to double click on it because it's asking us. going to hit the end arrow, TYP. Make sure it's all caps. Space TYP. And there you go. This is exercise 3.10 shaft support. Oh, and do not forget to fill out your title block, put it to a scale. Um, and your drawing title. And that's exercise 3.10M, shaft support.